Hi, Norman with iSaveTractors.com. A couple weeks ago, I made a video where I took my Ford LGT165 snowblower and I added a power chute rotator uh, using an electric window motor. I had several people ask like, how to do the wiring on such a motor, so this is what that video is about. So first, let's talk about the motor. This is a 100 rotation per minute window motor that I got off of eBay. Now essentially what an electric motor is, is it's a copper wound rotor in the middle of a, a bunch of permanent magnets. So when you send power through this uh, copper rotor inside, it causes an electromagnetic force which is opposite the permanent magnets inside and that causes it to rotate. Now, in order to get this motor to rotate in different directions, you simply use two different polarities. So if I were to send uh, positive electricity through this red wire and negative, and then this green one is ground, the, mo the motor inside will rotate one way. If I swap it and send positive electrical power through the green wire and the red one is to ground, it will rotate in the opposite way. That's important to keep in mind in order to send these essentially two different electrical circuits to one location, which is the motor, you need a double pole, double throw switch. And that's what this is right here. A double pole, double throw switch will have six prongs on the back. And now this is a momentary on, off, momentary on switch. So there are three positions on the actual toggle. When I push it down, it sends, it opens up one of the circuits. When it bounces back to the middle, it's off. All the circuits are disconnected. And when I push it up, it connects another set of circuits. So on the back, there are six prongs. The two middle prongs go to your final location or your device. In this case, it is our electric motor. The two prongs on top and the two prongs below are the two input uh, sources is the best way to think of it. So when I flick the switch in one direction, uh, these two top terminals will connect to the two middle ones, and when I flip the switch in the opposite direction, the two bottom ones will flip to the two middle ones. So essentially, this is going to allow us to reverse the polarity in our motor so we can get it to rotate in two different directions. Here is a quick uh, graphical uh, representation I made to help illustrate it. So again, the two middle terminals uh, go to our device, our motor. The two top terminals is one circuit, and the two bottom terminals is another circuit. So when you have the switch all wired together, this is what it looks like. So these two white wires connect to the two middle prongs, and those go to our motor. The orange wires is our positive from the battery, so as you can see, it connects to this upper left hand prong, but then I split it and then it connects to the lower right handed prong. And then the green one represents the negative. Let's see if I can get a good, illus good shot for you. So here's our power source. This is the 12 volt battery from your tractor. The green wire is wired into the negative post of the battery, or you can wire it into a common ground on your tractor's chassis. Orange wire connected to the positive post of the battery. The two white wires are connected to our motor. So with everything done correctly, when I hit the switch, the motor rotates. When I hit the switch in the other direction, it rotates in the other direction. It's that simple. Now, this principle works for electric motors and it also works for electric linear actuators. By using this same setup, you can add a ton more functionality and versatility to your lawn and garden tractors. So, like a lot of uh, modern day lawn equipment, they don't have uh, hydraulic power for anything. So, you instead of using hydraulic power, you can tap into your battery power by using motors and linear actuators to do a lot of work. Uh, in the older garden tractors, you can use these actuators actuators and these motors to add all kinds of additional functionality. You can use uh, linear actuators to open tailgates for dump trailers. Uh, you can build special hitch uh, attachments in the back, uh, a three-point hitch um, uh, top link you could use with an electric actuator. As you saw in my last video, I used a motor to rotate uh, the chute of a snowblower. Really, uh, the options are endless. Use your imagination. 
So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it helps you understand how to wire a double pull, double throw uh, switch for electric motor and electric linear actuator applications. If you have any questions about this sort of thing, if you have any questions about vintage small engines or old vintage garden tractors, please pick up the phone, give me a call. My phone number's in the description, ourbusinessisavetractors.com. We are devoted to uh, helping people understand, restore, and rebuild their old lawn and garden equipment. My name is Norman. Thanks for watching.